thank you to the people that responded in the recent community post. Pretty hot topic. I will still be showing God Charm versions, but only just a bit. I won't make the content revolve around it. Bear in mind that maxed out builds don't automatically break the game. Having non-damage skills that can make the hunter a lot more comfy in hunts can make a significant difference. In this video will be an updated slicing light bogan build. My relationship with the Seregios light bogan is over. Before we start, please, 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 please. subscribe. I haven't done this in a long time, so yeah, please do. Okay, fast side by side comparison. Izuchi like Bogon versus Seregios like Bogon. Izuchi LBG has more slots. Seregios has more affinity and raw. Seregios requires one less reload speed. Seregios has a bigger clip size for rapid fire slicing, but I still choose Izuchi. And why is that? Izuchi can fire rapid fire slicing while moving, while Seregios cannot. And Izuchi can also fire rapid fire piercing. Even if it's level 1, it is still good as backup ammo. Even if you don't have pierce up in your build, rapid fire up also buff the damage of this ammo. So it's not weak as you imagine it to be. Izuchi also has other ammo types, such as Sticky and Poison. Seregios LBG and Izuchi LBG are not really that far off from each other in terms of raw. Izuchi having more comfort shooting slicing and having backup ammo is way better. For the augments of the Izuchi Light Pogan, I chose Rampage Slot Upgrade to be able to put Anti-Species Decos. Anti-Species Decos give you a 5% damage increase if you are using the right one against a certain monster. That increase is better than having 10 more raw or 5% more affinity. Here is the skill priority list for this set. Even if you have Bloodlust in this setup, peak performance still works with it. Carrying a gourmet fish would not hurt as well. Mail of Hellfire, though it would limit you to stay on the red scroll, is a good source of raw. Just one level is fine unless you get good rolls that you manage to put in another piece of it. Chain crit works with slicing. I want to point out using rapid fire pierce one to get rid of the frenzy state instead of relying on your slicing. Once frenzy is cleared, that is when you use slicing. This is a good way to manage your ammo. For the switch skills, I advise you to put fanning maneuver. We need every buff we can get to buff the damage of your slicing. And please, do check that you have marksman. Since in this set I am promoting the use of Mail of Hellfire, make sure you are at the red scroll. For Dangos, the only food buffs that affect slicing are Booster and Adrenaline. Temper and Marksman do not affect slicing damage. When I go for a slicing setup, I just usually eat for Booster at the top, followed by Moxie, and then Marksman to get that level 1 flinch free. This is the No Talisman build. This build already has all the core skills. It is at 100% affinity the moment you clear frenzy when you hit the weak spot. It does not have Evade Extender 2, but then again, this is a no talisman build, so I'm pretty sure you can just slap it on if you need it. This build has Mail of Hellfire, one level of Chain Crit and Coalescence, which is technically the same as having Attack Boost 4. It even has one peak performance. This set also has a free level 1 slot. Up to you what to do with it. Defiance maybe, or Spirit Bird's Calling. If you plan on rolling augments on the armor pieces, it would be great to push for Attack Boost 4 for more damage. Always remember to change the rampage slot according to the appropriate species of monster you are fighting for that additional damage boost. With that hacker man talisman, I was able to put not only attack boost 4 in the build but also peak performance level 3. That's pretty much the only difference. This set also has evade extender 2. If ever you are to roll for augments on this god charm version, I highly suggest to roll for 3 more levels of attack to push it to attack boost level 7. That's all for the video. Hopefully this video helps and gives you guys a new gun to play with when fighting monsters with shitty hit zones. Thank you for your time, I greatly appreciate it, I'll see you guys in the next one.